Hello everyone, this is Mr. Toshumbono. I welcome you to my channel. Of course, today we're going to be looking at another important topic in business, likewise real estate as well, and has to do with finance. We're going to talk about financial literacy, why financial literacy is the key to wealth creation. So if you don't have the basics about wealth creation or if you don't have the basics about finances, about managing your finances. Financial literacy has to do with a well-managed monetary fund in your, uh, in your hands. Let's define what is financial literacy. Financial literacy is the ability to understand and effectively use various financial skills, including budgeting and investing. If you have the basics of financial literacy, you can be able to grow wealth building cash flow is key as well so you must be able to manage your money invest in cash flow invest in income generating assets or business that are actually going to yield you money that spend more than what you earn it has to do with budgeting and then investing so every money that comes into your hand of course you must understand that every money that comes into your hand has something it must fulfill money has power if you don't manage money well it will flow out of your hand. Money is not designed to stay in your hand. Money is designed to be utilized. That is why we say cash is trash. So if you have cash and then you are waiting, something irrelevant, something that we classify as liability marketing, that is why we say money has power. If you don't decide on time what you are going to use, use the money for, if you don't decide on time where you're going to channel this money, to actually build more money for you. Something irrelevant, something that is classified as liability will set in. If you have five million and then you don't decide what to do with that five million, you don't decide to invest in something that, that is going to yield your cash flow, that money will be wasted away into liability. This is the foundation of your personal relationship with money. Financial literacy is the foundation of your personal relationship with money. So if you don't have basic financial literacy on money, on investing, of course, money, budgeting, investing, it has to go flow this way. The money comes in, the budget is intact, and then investing that very money in cash flow uh, uh, business or assets that will actually cash flow because you must invest in something that will cash flow something that will actually keep recycling this business pays you monthly pays you weekly to be financially literate is to know the ways to manage your money of course being financially literate is having the knowledge the basic knowledge of money management so if you don't know how to manage your money money can't stay in your head or money cannot work for you it has to do with money working for you you have to train your money if you possess financial literacy the basics of financial literacy you actually prepare yourself to set money to work for you money has to work as hard as it can for you that is why people grow from poor to rich and wealthy because they understand the basic the fundamentals of wealth creation the money management of financial literacy or financial education these things are the basics of wealth creation they are key to wealth creation this practice will help you manage your money wisely make sound financial decisions and also become stable financially so people who understand the basics of financial literacy they are not afraid of losing money i watched grant cardon on a certain documentary he did some time ago i think about two years ago where he was actually uh, strip of all the literally stripped of all the money he has and giving hundred dollars and actually has to go to a certain place that has limited business availability or the kind of business class he can easily associate with i think pueblo or something these areas are limited these areas are shallow in terms of quality business class both men and women in the caliber you'll find Cardon. Of course, he's way above such class. His bars are way above that very area. So he was given hundred dollar, left with nothing. I asked, "What can you do? What can you do in three months with just one dollar, with just hundred dollar? You have nothing, no business, no money, nothing." 
So he was able to raise five million dollars in three months. Despite the COVID, why was he able to actually build such money in three months with nothing? He knew nobody there. He had nothing because he understands the basics of financial literacy. He knows what he wants. So it wasn't difficult for him locating the opportunities he needed to grow his wealth. Financial skills, the storage, budgeting, debt, investing. Storage, you must be able to know. I don't call it why I use the word storage. You can actually use saving and the rest, but I decide to use the word storage because storage is a very good example of saving. Money stored is meant for investing. Money stored is meant for a purpose. So you are, you are storing for an investment. You are storing to actually utilize this money for something. So storing is the first one. Then we look at budgeting. This has to do with financial and monetary skills. You're budgeting what this money that comes in, how am I going to use this money? What am I going to use this money for? Where is this particular money going into? What is this money going to do for me? 